is the year 1913, day September 9th. I'm a 12-year-old Russian boy, and my name is Boris Kuznetsov, and I have one older brother named Andre, and he is 23. He's already in America. I live in Kremlin, Moscow, and my family is poor and emigrating to America. My family is leaving Russia because of the poverty, and we're coming to America because of America's freedom and great jobs. I'm going to miss my friends and other a family. The ship me and my parents are going on is called the SS Imperator. My parents told me that we will be living in Brooklyn. My brother has already sent us a letter of where the, his apartment is. He left early because he wanted to get us started in this place called Brooklyn. I am bringing my toy monkey that my parents gave me when I was born. First we are going to take a trolley to Belaruski station and then take a train to Hamburg, Germany. I heard that this train trip will be hard and long. After the train ride, we're going to go to the ship, the SS Imperator, and go to Ellis Island. It is 5 a.m. and the trolley ride is about 20 minutes. The family in total brought a lot of food for the train ride. We brought all our clothes and we brought $30. We arrive at the train station at 5.25 a.m. and our train comes at 5.35 a.m. So we play solitaire until while we wait for the train to come. Once the train comes, the first thing we do on the train is we eat. We eat some caviar and butter on the bread as our first breakfast. For most of the train, I sleep because we want to have energy for the boat trip that will take about seven days. Our boat leaves at 10 a.m. When our family is not sleeping, we eat. We eat food like cold dumplings, cold chicken, and sandwiches. The train ride was long and hard, but once we got to the dock, it was already 9.45 a.m. The dock was filled with people. Me, my mom, and my dad all had to hold hands just to make sure we didn't lose each other. Plus, we ran out of food. We used all our food on the train ride. Hopefully, they will give us something to eat on this tough journey. Andre told us that there would be a lot of people, but we did not expect this much. Andre also told us to bring at least $20. That is why we have $30 with us. So it is 10 a.m. and the Imperator arrives. It is such a big boat. Right when it comes, we start boarding it. Once we get on, I ask my parents, can we look around? My parents say no because there are too many people. Then the boat starts moving. Everyone is so crammed together we could barely move. But then we see people dancing in the ship, so we walk over there. Then my mom and dad start dancing, and suddenly it just did not seem so bad after all. But then it became really bad during the first night. We got third class, sadly. Our night was poor. They gave us beds, but they were all right next to each other, and there were not too many beds, so we had to share our bed with random strangers. And there was so much noise from the ship, I, ship, I could barely sleep. They did give us food, but not much. Only crackers and a choice of tea or water. That's it. What we got for the whole ride. The same thing kept happening until one day. It was around 1 p.m. Sunny, and the ship was driving past the Statue of Liberty. Everyone on the ship started crying and hugging their children because you're dirty, then you are close to America. It is September 18, 1913, 4 p.m. We arrive at Ellis Island. The first thing we do is we go into the room where they give us our luggage. Then we go to this huge room with a bunch of rows with benches. We first find a seat, then we wait until they call our names. And we go to this desk where a person asks my parents questions like, "Where did you? Why did you come here? How much money do you have? Do you know where to go? And the most weird one is when he asked, is this your real child? So my parents said yes. And the way they tested that is they separated me and my parents. And if I yelled mama and papa, then he would know that they are my parents. I was not told this. So when they separated me, I yelled mom and papa. Then he knew they were my parents. After my parents had to go to some station where they gave their money to some 
one who gave American money back to them. Then after that, the most weird part happened and the most scary. After that, we went to some medical things. So when I saw the doctors, I was super scared because back in Russia, I was afraid of doctors. So I held my parents' hand tight. Then when they checked me, I started to shiver. So did my parents. We were all scared. But our checkups were done. He yelled something. I did not understand. Then they let us free. Then we stopped to see a bunch of huge buildings, and my parents told me we have arrived. After all of that pain and long rides, we have arrived in America. That is the story of my immigration to America. America is great. School is very fun. My favorite school subject is math, and my parents seem to be enjoying it too. And I'm finally re reunited with my brother. My favorite part of America is school. The reason I like school is because you make new friends and you learn a different language. I think emigrating to America was a very good choice.